the urban legend around here of the ghost car road is you hear a car but there's nothing that ever passes by What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Dart Frog adventure. Tonight, Marne and I, there's there's Marne. Hi, Marne. Marne and I, we are out here on the Haunted Quarry Road. Um, it's pretty crazy. We still got a lot of ways to go back down the road before we get back to the vehicle and everything. So we thought we'd take you on the adventure with us. Um, the rumor up here, the urban legend up here, is that there's a ghost car that comes up and down this road. So far, we've heard a couple of cars. One just passed us. I don't know if I caught that on camera as I was doing my intro. But uh, yeah, uh, this is an active road. Uh, it's it's pretty scary as we get into it. I'll give you more details on it, but let's go ahead and get into this adventure. Yeah, some strange stuff happens on this road. Last time the Wild West Kid and I were out here, we were down a lot further. And then Martin and I were out here, we were down a lot further too. But uh, this is a creepy road. There's supposed to be another part of the legend up here is that there's supposed to be something that screams like a banshee almost um the wild west kid and i we actually debunked that scream uh it happened to be a calf uh a baby cow if you're if you're not familiar with what a calf is but uh, anyhow i brought my k2 meter with me tonight uh since we've been out here we've already heard like i said a couple cars already coming through and whatnot and uh that's that's pretty bright. There we go. That works. So we've heard a couple cars coming through here already. Uh, we've only seen one so far, but as we're walking it, it sounded like there's cars coming. So, uh, like I said before, this is an active road, so we are going to be careful. But for the most part, it's not super busy. Yeah, from time to time out here, you hear a lot of strange stuff out here. It's it's a pretty scary road actually. Yeah. Oh, that's Sorry, your stick. That was my stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's keep moving. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and keep moving through here. Uh, like I said, it's gonna get dark pretty quick, and we have a little ways to go before we get back to the car. Uh, we really don't want to be out here. Uh, we forgot like half our stuff, like our bear spray and our, and our little friends that we carry with us for animal protection but um yeah so we're just gonna keep moving through here kind of quickly and we're gonna see what we find yeah this is a pretty creepy place I'm not liking that it's hard to see through those trees and it's up high yeah that's the thing we just heard a car behind us and there's nothing there i don't know if the camera caught that but you can hear a rumble of a car coming i swear our car's coming i just heard it Sounds like someone's walking right down off that hill. That's, yeah, that's what I'm gonna tell you. It sounds like footsteps. And back there, when I first turned to the trees, I could have sworn I saw something. It's possible. So the reason why this place is haunted is there's a haunted quarry up the road from us, and uh, there's some been some tragedy out here on this road. Like it's kind of a windy road. If you're not paying attention, you'll go off the cliff over here. I'll see if I can show you. It's kind of a sloping cliff. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a fence there and it goes way down. As we come around, you'll be able to see it better. Oh yeah. 
forgot the damn bear spray. So I also, oh, I also brought my K2 meter with me. I got it in my pocket. I'll pull it out here in a second. My flashlight's getting dim. Those, I don't know if you can see that, but those little bars right there, it's full. See how it's blue, it lights up? And this thing's full, but it's not as bright as it should be. Okay, I'll put that right there in my mount. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my K2. I wonder if I can't just turn that off. Let's see if that'll work. Ah, oh, there we go. I just turned my little light off. Hear that? Hear that? I'm not sure that's a cow. That's not a calf. That was something completely different. That was a, not really a scream, but that was a howl of some sort. It was like a roar, but it wasn't very loud. Yeah. But that's the thing. You like, there's screams that have been reported out here. I think. I don't, I don't know, maybe it could have been like a mountain lion or something from the screams that other people have reported, but what we heard just a little bit ago, that wasn't no damn mountain lion. Hear that? Yeah. Not really liking that. That sounds like a car. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you could hear a car on that one. So I apologize if the video is a little shaky. We're walking downhill, so it's kind of hard to keep everything stable. I don't have my gimbal with me. But we just found a bunch of eggs right here. I don't know. I don't know how big snake eggs are. Some kind of egg. Yeah, they don't really look like chicken eggs. No, they don't look like chicken eggs. Just considering the fact that these are clearly hatched. And there's no chickens around. Hatched with little chupacabras. <laughs> They're troll eggs. It is right there. That last little thing I heard. Well, this thing to do is just keep moving. Keep looking behind us. Yeah, this place gets super, super creepy when it's really dark, when it's like midnight, two in the morning or something like that. But uh, yeah, right now it's not super late. It's not super late. And I mean, it's dark enough to where uh, stuff's gonna like activity will happen. When, well, that's the thing, you know, when a place is, has paranormal activity to it, it doesn't matter if it's the nighttime or daytime, an area's gonna have paranormal activity 24 7. Just sometimes it's more active during the day, sometimes it's more active during the night. this road it's hard to walk on
Here's another shot of how this hill goes down. It goes a ways down there too. You never know. Considering what you guys caught on camera, who knows? Yeah, exactly. I know there's... Woodland fairies, yes, it's possible. That's the thing, if you haven't seen any of our other videos on my channel, most definitely check them out. We've caught some really strange stuff out here in the hills. Uh, last time that Wild West Kid and I were out here on the lower ghost car road, or I guess it'd be the ghost car road, which is down there. We're here on the quarry road. Uh, but yeah, we caught something really strange. It flew right in front of the camera. Everybody's like, oh, it's a bug. I've never seen a bug like that. I mean, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's the ghost car road video. And creak it. Let's see what the K2 is doing. K2 is not doing anything right at the moment. A little bird in that tree up there. Start clicking. Oh, K2 just went off right back here, and it flashed like really hardcore red. I'll keep that K2 on. Oh, see, that's scary. It's not my flashlight doing it either. See, that's right next to my flashlight on my phone. This area is hot. Wait. And we're just barely starting to enter into the craziest part of this road, too. Okay, the K2 wait for a second. Since I don't have enough hands, I can't carry my flashlight, hold the K2 and my camera. <laughs> oh, that branch right there tripped me out. I just glanced over, I was like, oh, something's in the road. But it's that branch right there. Let's see. Try to pull out the K2 again here in a second. Ow. I should get like a little mount that just goes right on the front of my camera that holds the K2. Oh, cool. <laughs> I think I'll have to do that, just make a mount. Yeah, that spot back there was crazy with the gate too. Yeah, the haunted quarry is just like right up the hill up there.
still hear the birds up there. Got some stars out here tonight. Oh, look. Is that a UFO? Yeah. It's not blinking. What is that? It's not a satellite. No, it's not a satellite. It's not a drone either. It's too high to be a drone. It's not blinking like a plane, it's just... What is that? It doesn't even really look like a plane. Uh-uh. That's low, too. It's not blinking. Weird. Can't hold my camera still enough either. And we are not too far from the Uintas. If you're not familiar with the Uintas, Uintas is a hot spot for UFO activity. The Uinta Mountains, you know, over by Skinwalker Ranch and whatnot. Have vernal places like that. We're not too far from there. And we do see strange stuff out here in our area too. When it comes to the uh, UAPs or UFOs, what are we gonna call them? Aerial phenomenon, I guess it was. Was it AUP or something like that? The unidentified aerial phenomenon, that's what it is, UAP. I saw some strange lights in the winter when I was walking to work in the, the night, almost. Yeah, at least it was nighttime. It was when I was working graveyards. Uh, not last year, but the year before that. It was weird. The sky was always gray and overcast, but right See, okay, in the that's same a, spot. That's a plane up there. See it blinking? That's a plane. And that's not what that last thing was. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, it's always gray and overcast. Well, it was gray and overcast, and it was the same spot for at least a week, but then they disappeared. But it was these two green lights shining through the overcast. Yeah, that's a plane there, that one is. But that last one was not a plane. It was just two green lights. It's kind of glowing through the overcast, couldn't mm -hmm. really see what the source was, but it only lasted for like a week, and then they disappeared. I've never seen them again. Oh, I, oh that's crazy. I didn't tell you the other night ago, uh, just two nights ago, mm -hmm. um, I saw that uh, same little uh, thing that was flying through this guy that we just saw. Oh, yeah? I saw that the other night ago, too. Yeah. Same thing. It just was moving like that, and I don't think that's a satellite. Didn't you see that while we were up camping? What we saw up camping was weird because it was like a little white light that dropped down and I thought it was a... Yeah, it like went down all like vertically and then just shot off super fast. Yeah. It was like flying horizontally like a satellite would and then it just dropped down vertically and then took off faster than you could even blink. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was a falling star at first. I was like, oh, look, Marnie, a falling star. And then it went from... Yeah, it was weird because it come out of the sky, it dropped down. I thought it was a falling star. So it went down white. It was like a little ball. Um, it looked like a, from where we were standing up in the sky, it would be like the size of maybe like a golf ball or something. You know, it's kind of hard to judge distance while out there. But uh, it dropped down white, kind of stopped for a split second, turned blue, and then shot off another direction. It wasn't a drone. It didn't make any sound. Up, back up there was like super freaking creepy. Down here is not so bad. Yeah, down here is not terrible. Up there, I, don't know. I guess it's because we're getting a little further away from that quarry. Yeah. And I mean, my freaking K2 spiked up there too. Just in that one spot.
I heard that too. Noise. Maybe a mouse? Uh, it could have been a rodent. It didn't sound big, but it scared the crap out of me. Yeah, it is. Something moved right in there. Something just scared the bejeebers on Marnay. I caught it out the corner of my ear. <laughs> it wasn't out of the corner of my eye, it was out of the corner of my ear. There's a lot of crazy noises up here. I'm still like wondering what that scream was. I wonder if it's not the calves, because those calves make some really crazy noises. You know, what's really cool about this position up here, you may not be able to get it up on the uh, camera, but look at the moon. You can see the outline of the entire moon. Uh, I can kind of see it. Let's zoom in. Just heard some like knocking coming from the side of the hill. Knocking? Yeah, it's like knocking. Knocking coming from the side of the freaking hill. Let me move the flashlight. It's not my flashlight that's sitting off the K2, that's for sure. It's not my phone sitting off the K2. Are you going now? Uh huh. Ooh, I saw it cycling. Oh, yeah, it's tapping a little. As, as soon as you said no, uh, it went into the orange. <laughs> Of course it would. This area has activity to it. And we're way down away from the quarry. Yeah, up there by the quarry it had like a dark feel to it. Like a the best way I can describe it is like a dark feeling. Yeah. Down here doesn't feel so dark. Or like we would say anxiety-ish. I don't I don't know how you'd say that. Angsty? Angsty maybe. Up there was really angsty. Down here is like not very stressful. Moon. <laughs> That's awesome. Only I had my really nice camera with me. It would have looked so much better. Oh, absolutely. I thought I heard something moving behind us. Did you hear that? Yeah. Sounded like a growl, wasn't it? Yeah. Something. I'm, I'm telling you, I would think something's been stalking us since the top of the hill. It's possible. That sounded like a low muffled growl though. Let's keep walking. Okay, keep an eye out on our six. Oh, yeah, there. Uh, I think there's a car coming down the hill. I see headlights. Yeah, there's a car coming down the hill. Could be the ghost car.
maybe. Mm. I saw headlights and then I saw the tail lights and then it disappeared in the trees. Give it a second. Well, that's the that's the rumor is you can hear them, but you don't see them. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's lights up there. So there's actually a vehicle coming down. The urban legend around here of the ghost car road is you hear a car, but there's nothing that ever passes by. So there's actually a car coming down right now. <laughs> so apparently that was not a ghost car because we actually saw it and I got it on camera so <laughs> but that's like one <coughs> I think I swallowed the bug that's one of the urban legends around here is you hear a ghost car so you hear like a vehicle coming down the road but it never shows up that one showed up it's super dusty too <laughs> make my allergies act up. Oh, look at that. Woo! <laughs> like lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It's like. Poor Aspen. She's all like dusted out. Yeah, so I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this video down. Um. We've been up, that was uh, the Haunted Quarry Road that we were just on up there. Uh, we didn't hear any of the screams. We heard a couple strange things. My K2 went off. But, uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. I'll be bringing some more videos to you guys here soon. Um, Yumi and I are supposed to go out and do a video. Marnie is probably going to come with us again, too. But, uh, till the next adventure.